What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. Hope y'all are having a great day today. So we are back with another part of, um, not another part, we're back with a speed build. You see, I am so not used to saying speed builds. I haven't made a speed build in a week or so, so I had to get used to it again. Um, but today I'm back with a speed build, a, a modern speed build, a modern dorm room speed build, sort of like that. Um, uh, I went on the I went on the last oh, the last build that I did and I calculated the votes and the dorm room was in the lead so that's what I'm building today and I had so much fun building today I wanted to do something different I was gonna do like a New York style like the actual like brick wall and all that type of dorm room but I was searching up online because Afrinia how about your name Afrinia Afrina Afrina because people I keep on calling Afrinia but it's Afrina I think Afrina. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right after like the third video of me trying to pronounce your name. Uh, Afrina wanted me to do a BTS. If you guys don't know who BTS is, BTS is a Korean band, a Korean um, group, K-pop group, and they pretty much do music. So nothing else to say that they are very talented. They are known for their dancing and for their awesome songs. My favorite by them is "I Need You." I love that song. It was actually the first song that I liked about them. Liked about them or liked that they did um, and after that I don't really have that big of a song I guess dope is my second favorite but eh, I don't know I'm, I'm not that big into BTS yet because they haven't made a song that I just fell in love with other than um, I need you I don't know when that song when I need you came out I, that song killed me I love that song but um anyway so that's who they are and since they're a Korean band I wanted to base this dorm room off of what like a Korean dorm room would look like and for me since I watch a lot of dramas uh, especially because I watched um, I watched a lot of high like college dramas where they have like dorm rooms and all that. Um, a lot of their dorm rooms are very colorful, very modern. Like they're hella modern. Like <laughs> I, I'm like like jealous modern type of rooms. And they're very pretty. And most of them have spiral staircases. But since I don't, I had to find a way to incorporate that with this house. I wanted to make it very luxurious, like a rich, um, a rich like like I said BTS since they are rich because they are a very famous K-pop group. Um, where they live in Korea so I want to make it a very like high modern high expensive style house that I think they would like um, a lot of fun and I know that they like to play basketball I think I think they like to play basketball I could be completely wrong um, so I wanted to inspire it off of them because that's what she asked for and I'm always happy to do a, a Korean <laughs> I'm gonna write BTS house <laughs> on the title too just because it was meant for BTS so why not if, if they oh my god if BTS ever watches this and like oh, oh, oh. anyways anyways let's, let's not get with the fanboying <laughs> like I'm the meaning of Korean trash if you guys don't know if you guys don't know what trash is like there's k-pop trash there's anime trash I'm all of those but mostly like of everything I'm Korean trash I'm that I'm a Korean boo if you guys don't know what that is y'all know what a, a weeboo right is but I'm a Korean boo <laughs> but I'm not a hard Korean boo I'm just I'm just an embarrassing Korean boo like there's just one story where oh god I don't know why I did this so anyways at my school, there's a lot of foreign exchange students, and a good amount of them are from Korea, right? So, in English, in English class, because last year I was a huge K-pop fan. Last year, ooh, I, I was huge. I, I stopped listening to it after like first semester. I stopped listening to K-pop, but but first year when I came into here, I, when I came to high school, when I came to college, I was a huge K-pop fan. And so what happened was I was in a class with a lot of foreign exchange, exchange students from Korea, and so you know me, I love the flaunt that I know. Like I know a little Korean, I know a little bit of this, I know a little bit of that. So what happened was we're doing a group activity on the computers, and of course me being the weeboo or the kribu or what I am or the K-pop boo whatever I am, I start I go on a Korean website <laughs> in front of them, and then I start playing Korean music, and then I'm just listening to a jamming. And they're like, oh wait, I know them. I'm like of course you know that. <laughs> oh god, it's so cringeworthy. Oh god. This is so cringeworthy. So anyways, I decide to just, I just start bopping to it and they're like, oh, I know them. They're from Korea. I'm like, oh, they're oh, they're from Korea? I didn't notice. <laughs> well, I didn't say, I'm like, yeah, I know that. I love them. She's like, then she started naming off all the members. I'm like, oh, I can name them up too. Then, that, then I went to another K-pop group and started naming off that members. I, I went to EXO because <laughs> EXO is my life. <laughs> they still are, let's be honest. I, I haven't watched, uh, what's it called again? From December to August, I hardly watched any K-pop, and then 
in September, I decided to watch uh, an EXO video, which is Monster, their new song. And yep, it just, I just went right back into it. So I'm not like 110% into K-pop again, but I do love EXO. I will always love EXO. It was, I got stories, <laughs> stories. Like I need my friends to come here to, just to tell you how bad EXO ruined my life in high school. <laughs> Oh, they came in like a wrecking ball like when, when Chris left. For, for all my K-pop fans out there, if you're not a K-pop fan, you're like, why is he even talking about this? It's so cringeworthy, I'm sorry. But for all my K-pop fans out there that listen to K-pop, when I, I, was, I was into K-pop before Chris left EXO, so way before that. Not way before that, but I was, in, I was into K-pop before Chris left EXO. And exactly when Chris became my second bias of the group, my second bias, you know how long it took me to choose a bias? He's still my bias of the day, which is Kai. Dab to Kai, Kai's awesome, I love Kai. Um, but <laughs> exactly when I decided to choose my second bias, which was gonna be Chris, I was like, yes, I, I got it, I knew it. He left the group. Like guys, I was crushed. Like when I said I was crushed, I meant I was crushed. Like coming from, cause I, I, I look up to these members, like I love these members. Like when, 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 the thing is, I think about it now, I like, I generally like cared for these members, like I looked up to every single one of the members in EXO, like I was like wow, if I ever got to meet them I would like break down because I love them, like they, I wanted to be like them, well not say like be like them, but I just, I was, I was, it's, it's expired vibe, I don't even know, but I really, I really like them. <laughs> They're the first K-pop group I've ever really got into, and I really loved all their music. And they just they just opened a new world to me, and I very appreciate. I was I don't know what it was. I don't even know what it was. Like it wasn't like love or anything. It was just admiration. I don't know what it was. I was I was guess I was struck. I don't even know what it was. What I was feeling back then. But um, yeah, I I honestly did love them. And so when <laughs> so, so well, it's true. Um, but um. So when Chris left the group, oh my god guys, I was crushed. When I say I was crushed, I mean I was depressed. I literally went into depression <laughs> when he left the group. I was like, no, he did it. Like, I was walking to my fifth period class, listening to Overdose. <laughs> and then my, my friend, who's another EXO fan, is like, yo, yo, what, guess what happened? I'm like, what happened? She's like, Chris left the group. <laughs> I was like, what? You're lying, right? Like, I was about to cry. Like, okay, EXO is the only group that has ever brought tears into my eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm not even going to talk about that story. That's for, like, for another day. If y'all want to hear that story, <laughs> leave it in the comments down below. It is so cringeworthy. Oh, God. Let's just say it involved EXO and tears. <laughs> It's so cringeworthy thinking about it now. My friends make fun of me all the time for it. Oh god, I don't even want to. Yeah, anyways, if you guys want to hear about that story, I'll tell you guys. But you guys gotta leave a comment below because I'm not telling you guys right now. Oh heck no, I'm not ready to go through my phase. Cause guys, when I say I was a, I was a hard K-pop fan, you don't even understand. Like I lived breathed k-pop like i was the me of a career back in high school grade grade 10 and grade 11 oh god it grade, 11, grade 12 too <laughs> like i was like singing all the time like my parents started like i call my mom opa and omana like i don't call them mom and dad like that's how bad it was and that hasn't left me my mom knows what opa means my dad knows what opa means my mom knows what oma means that's what i call them when i'm in public that's what i call them when i'm in my room that's what i call them like they go by that now they're, they're my opa and my om not opa oh my god did i say opa i mean appa oh my god i said opa this whole time <laughs> God, I said Opa. I just realized I was saying Opa. I'm like, wait, did I say Opa? My bad. I meant Oma. I don't have an Opa. I don't do that stuff. That's not me. <laughs> okay, we're all like three moves out there. I don't have an Opa. I didn't mean to say that. I was supposed to be. I was supposed to say Appa. Say Appa and Oma, not not Opa and Oma. I just realized what I was saying. Oh God, I am so embarrassed right now. Like my face is flustered. I can't believe I'm saying that. But anyways, if you know what an Opa is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't have one of those. I never will. It's, they're just not for me. 
I kind of want to cut this commentary, but I'm not going to because, like I said, this is some raw footage, um, not edited. <laughs> me just being stupid me. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This actually comes to an end. I hope y'all enjoyed the story of a little bit of me and my K-pop phase. There's a lot more. There's there's so much. There is so much. Oh my god. Like I have phases in my life, and that has to be the biggest phase. That phase lasts from 2013 to 2015 late 2015 so yeah guys it's it's it was a long phase in my life and i'm kind of getting back into it <laughs> anyways i hope you all enjoyed the videos always leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the house of course i hope you guys enjoyed this part i can't wait to see you guys in the next one talk to y'all later peace